In the dynamic landscape of the automotive industry, innovative strategies are the key to staying ahead. Today, we're delving into an intriguing maneuver by Polestar, a subsidiary of Volvo and a rising star in the electric vehicle market. This move revolves around their approach to navigate the complex terrain of import fees for their China-made vehicles in the U.S. market. Polestar, in collaboration with Volvo, has devised a method to counterbalance the significant import fees on their vehicles. This strategy is primarily attributed to U.S. production and specific government regulations. What's particularly noteworthy about this program is its allowance for businesses to recover fees already paid on vehicles imported into the U.S. This could translate to substantial savings, potentially running into millions of dollars in import duties. However, challenges are part of any strategic move. A software issue has reportedly pushed back the launch of the EX90-3 production to 2024. This hiccup might come at a high price for Geely, the parent company, especially given the need to counterbalance the duties on vehicles like the Polestar 2, which has been in the market for two years. Diving deeper into the potential stock price implications, the capability to mitigate hefty import fees can be perceived as a strategic edge for Polestar. It could lead to reduced operational costs and potentially enable competitive pricing for U.S. consumers. In the cutthroat automotive sector, this strategy could significantly amplify profitability. Yet, the production delay due to software issues raises concerns. Such delays can escalate costs, and in the stock market, any indication of rising operational expenses without a parallel revenue increase can induce stock price fluctuations. Investors will be closely monitoring how Geely and Polestar navigate this challenge. Moreover, Polestar's forthright approach in clarifying their stance, emphasizing adherence to government regulations and dutiful payment of required duties, showcases their commitment to transparency. Such actions can foster investor confidence, potentially driving up stock value. On a broader scale, Polestar's move might set a benchmark for other electric vehicle manufacturers. If Polestar triumphs with this strategy, it could trigger an industry-wide reevaluation of how import duties are managed, further bolstering Polestar's reputation as a trailblazer. Transitioning to the upcoming trading session's surge signals for the stock on August 17, 2023, the upward signals are at $3.85, $3.92, and $3.98, while the downward ones are at $3.72, $3.66, and $3.59. These surge signals represent pivotal price points that can validate a stock's directional movement. For instance, if the stock price surpasses $3.85, it might indicate an upward trend, with $3.92 and $3.98 as subsequent targets. On the flip side, if the stock descends below $3.72, it could signal a potential decline, with $3.66 and $3.59 as the levels to watch. Given the recent developments around Polestar, positive market reception might propel the stock towards the upper surge signals. However, any adverse sentiment, especially linked to the production delay, could steer it towards the lower signals. Concluding our analysis on Polestar's strategic endeavors in the U.S. market, if you found this breakdown enlightening, Please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts on how other electric vehicle manufacturers might react to Polestar's tactics in the comments below.